<clears throat> hey girls, what's up? I know, a lot. Everybody's talking about how you're gonna get your period soon. Or maybe you already have. And if you're anything like I was, there's a million questions flying around in your head. How long can I wear a pad for? Does a thicker pad mean more protection? Will everyone at school know when I start my period? Can I still do sports? What's a panty liner? Can I still go swimming? Why are there so many different kinds of pads? Lots of people tell you different things. Your friends might think they have the answers, but there's a lot floating around out there that just isn't true. Before I knew the facts, I didn't always know what to believe either. But now I do, I figured I'd make a video for you girls to show you what's fact and what's fiction. Okay, you ready? First up, you can wear a panty liner every day. What do you guys think? Give up? This one is fact. You can wear panty liners every day if you want to absorb natural discharge. A lot of girls do that. It just helps them feel more fresh. And panty liners are good on light period days. But anything more, you should use a pad. Okay, ready for the next one? Here we go. When you have your period, you can't do regular stuff like sports or hang out with your friends. You just have to stay at home and wait until it's over. Do you think that's for real? Nope, it's fiction. You can do whatever you feel like doing, whenever you feel like doing it. You can do all the normal stuff, even though it's that time of the month. You just have to remember to stay prepared. That means keeping track of your period so you know when it's coming and taking your pad with you when you go out so that you have it if you need it. It doesn't have to be obvious. Pads are really easy to hide. Like this. Or you can put it in here. Or in your shoe. <laughs> okay, we're already up to number three. Here goes. Thin pads can't protect like thick pads. Wanna take a guess? Fiction. Maybe that was true in the Stone Ages, but pads have come a long way since then. Now thicker does not necessarily mean better. These pads are made out of special material, so even the thinner ones can be good for heavy days. There's different pads made to suit what different girls like. Some girls like to feel the pad closer to their body, sort of hugging the body. And so they go and choose the maxi pad. I like the thinner ones, which are really soft and flexible. So it's totally up to you. Okay, last one. Can you go swimming on your period? Fact or fiction? You know, this one's kind of tough, so I'm gonna look for backup on this one. Okay, one sec. Let's see, um, being girl. Okay, swimming on period. Aha, yes you can. Just like I thought, you can go swimming on your period, but not with a pad. You'll need to use a tampon. You wanna ask your mum about that. There's lots of different kinds to choose from. I like the Tampax Pearl, because I like the plastic applicator. But you can look at all the different kinds at tampax.co.uk. Okay guys, I hope this helped. I made some other videos that talk more about how to handle getting your period. So hopefully I can answer some of your other questions. Just go and check them out. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>